Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rabbit! No! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins! Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Hello, everybody. This is Aya here. On my first game review. This is Alice Madness Returns, if you haven't figured that out. Let's get going. To the boys' room. <laughs> Awful. Worse than your room? Ollie pinched me small. Where bloomers? Wasting doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? Nice house. Mine's better. Of course it is. Of course it is. It is dreaded news feeds an unsustainable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at a match factory, six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? The world's gone quite mad. Well, this is mad. Ten years in the loony bin. No, Ma, no relation. She's an orphan. And you're ugly. Earn your keep. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Where's downstairs? Oh, maybe I'm already here. Doctor's pet. Too good for the asylum. Mad as a hatter without the charm. 
Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Oh, this deed's killing me back. I call work noble, bastards. Oh, she gave me quite a fright. I never seen a girl bend like You like Boccherini, <laughs> Missy? How about Paganini? How do you have a good day? It's not like someone's being bashed up. Maybe somewhere. But okay. Let's keep going. Into this awfully nice alleyway. Where I won't be attacked. It's not like someone is already attacked. Save the world, ten minutes at a time. What he means by that? Excuse me, sir. You look like a discerning gent. Oh, I don't like this cat. Seems following fiery creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. So I mean, it vanished. Stars and garters, Alice Little. It's slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some <laughs> pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, all oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. This she can't remember her name. What I heard. Well, that old lady's up to something. And here we are. On the pigeon roof. With pigeons. And high smog. Good old London. 
Just like good old London. Well, obviously London is not that good. It smells. Nurse Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a thirst you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs water. I could change clothes that quickly every morning. I wouldn't be late for anything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wonderland. A place full of joyous memories and childhood thoughts. I'm guessing your childhood thoughts include blood on your shirt. And here we are. Oh, blue butterflies. Very upsetting journey. But I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. Monster. At there least the place again. I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Yes, about time. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. 